are excited to be visiting Northern Michigan for the first time ever. And we decided to start our adventure in a town that so many people have told us is a must visit. So stick around while we show you around amazing historic Petoskey, Michigan. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. So we just got set up earlier today at Hearthside Grove Motor Coach Resort. And we decided to drive just a few minutes into the town of Petoskey. And wow, already we are whacked in the face with history, which we love. Uh, we're gonna have dinner at the City Park Grill. This was recommended by Lance at the resort. And uh, yeah, this building used to be a place where Ernest Hemingway hung out back in the day. So they say it's pretty cool on the inside. Let's check it out. Another tip here is you have to come early. You can see the crowd behind me. It's only 6.30 and it's already packed. The food is awesome. I mean, very, very good. 
Best wedge salad I've ever had. Welcome to our site here at Hearthside Grove in Petoskey, Michigan. This is site number seven. And this is, all of these lots in here are owner lots, uh, but they've got rentals that are going on. You can rent directly from the owners or you can go through the office. Like I said, this is site seven. This is a motor coach resort. Um, they've got, this site has the pavers. What's interesting, well, what we always like in these motor coach resorts is each one of them is unique. You know, the owners put their own stamp on things. So the trees are just now budding. In, you know, a couple weeks, this place is gonna look completely different with everything coming to life. Uh, this is early May. So we've got, this particular lot has a bungalow on it. Now that does not come with the rental, that's for the owner to use, but it's got a, a little bedroom inside as well as a bathroom and a little kitchenette. We do have access to the outdoor kitchen. We actually met the owner of this lot. He's here on another lot right now, and uh, he's got a new refrigerator coming for his kitchen out here. And oh yeah, uh, if you're watching this as we put it out, this lot is currently for sale. So uh, you can check their website to see all the stuff that's for sale. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, we are loving this lot. And then it backs up to this beautiful natural area. We've seen squirrels and tons of birds. They've got deer here. And check out this water feature. This has been so relaxing. We're sitting out here in the evenings with the fire pit that runs on natural gas and this water feature, this little creek, the sounds of the water. It's absolutely relaxing in the evenings. Sitting enjoying the campfire. Yeah. Beautiful evening. Yes, it is. Okay, today for lunch, beautiful day. We came to Mims Mediterranean Grill and it's literally one mile from the resort. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we talked to a, a guy doing some work in the resort and he said, yeah, this place is good. We're looking forward to it. Love, Euros. Yeah. Yeah, so here at Mims Mediterranean Grill, this place was awesome. I mean, the, their customer service is phenomenal. Very, very friendly. Met the owner, young guy, outstanding, outstanding. The food quality was incredible. Stacey and I both had the Greek salad uh, to start with. And I mean, they put beets in the Greek salad and it was incredible. Gave it a whole nother dimension, loved it. And then we both had a gyro and uh, just the regular gyro with, with beef and lamb and uh, outstanding strongly recommend it they have all kinds of gyros stuff i've never heard of they even have a shrimp gyro that's got like a cajun twist to it kind of ties us back to louisiana but yeah um strongly recommend this place if you're ever in this area of petoskey get by here this is great greek food and fantastic restaurant Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a beautiful morning in Petoskey, Michigan, and we're excited. We're visiting the historic Hotel Perry. This was built in 1899. There's a restaurant inside where we're gonna have lunch, but first, we're gonna be taking a tour of historic Petoskey. This is gonna be good. The name Petoskey comes from Adawa Indian Chief Ignatius Petoskey. He was a respected businessman and leader, 
and the town was renamed Petoskey. It was formerly called Bear River for the river that runs through town, uh, but it was renamed Petoskey in his honor in 1879, and that is said to mean rising sun. Now, the layout of the town that still exists today was put together by Captain Hiram Rose, who came here in 1874. He's credited with owning several businesses, bringing the railroad, the opera house, and the first electrical plant to town, as well as doing the platting and laying out of the city. And so a lot of the buildings that you see today, as you walk through downtown Petoskey, are dated back to the 1870s, 1880s, maybe around 1900s. It's a very historical town, which is awesome. Uh, they say that in 1873 the railroads arrived and that is really when things took off because this became a haven for tourists, especially the wealthy, because you had fresh air, you had fresh water in the bay, and you had uh, cool summer temperatures. So this area here in downtown became the Gaslight District. This is where all the shops were, the entertainment district. Uh, this is where everybody came, and it was right next to where the steamships and the trains would drop you off. Now, underneath several of the buildings, <laughs> and we got to go down in them, were tunnels. And those tunnels connected a lot of the buildings during Prohibition, so folks could get around without their neighbors knowing what they were doing. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> But it was fascinating to see some of the passageways. They're all closed up, but you can see where they were under some of the buildings. Pretty cool. Now, as we walk through the historic railroad station, let's talk more about the importance of the railroads to Petoskey. Because like so many towns, the railroad played a critical role, but really it was much bigger than that for Petoskey. So the first passenger excursion trains arrived here in 1873, and that same year a Grand Rapids reporter stepped off the train and described Petoskey as the land of million dollar sunsets. Now you're gonna see why that description is so perfect later in this video, so keep watching. But as word spread of the summer oasis, visitors started to flock here by the thousands. And as if things weren't going well enough for tourism here, in 1878 they were drilling for oil and they discovered mineral wells. So now add healing mineral waters to the fresh air, the bay, the awesome summer weather, and Petoskey becomes a must visit for travelers seeking healthy living. It became a true lifestyles of the rich and famous destination. Folks like the Fords, the Gambles, the Wrigleys, the Hemingways all flocked to this area summer after summer. And luxury hotels and the Gaslight District built up all around the railroad tracks and the steamship docks. They say at one point as many as 8,000 visitors arrived in Petoskey each day. And more than 100 years later, they're still coming. <laughs> So we've got the sun behind us here, but we had to get Mr. Hemingway in the shot here. There's a lot of Ernest Hemingway history in this area. This is Chris Struble, who took us on the historic tour today. And he's also a jeweler, and he's also knows a ton about Ernest Hemingway. He's got a podcast. Chris, why don't you tell them a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so I try to subsidize myself with a jewelry store. Uh, my other backup is a musician, so we know how that goes. <laughs> uh, and then I, uh, I came to the area um, doing research. I've been coming to Northern Michigan my whole life, but coming to Petoskey specifically to research Ernest Hemingway in the 23 years he spent up here uh, from the time he was six weeks old until he got 25% well, of his marriages were celebrated in Northern Michigan. So <laughs> Hemingway's uh, first wedding to uh, Hadley Richardson, the Paris wife, was, was, uh, was about eight miles from here. Uh, the relevance for Hemingway's time here, for me, the most specific thing is this is where he chose to recuperate. This is where he got, got married the first time. More importantly, Petoskey, Michigan in 1919 is where he became a writer of fiction. He'd already worked for the Kansas City Star. Uh, he'd go on to write for the Toronto Star. But this is where he decided to be a writer of fiction. And so those Michigan sketches, the Nick Adams collection, um, those are the ones that are really relevant to Northern Michigan. And then while researching all the Hemingway's uh, history, I just found the, the amazing history we have here in Northern Michigan, especially Petoskey, Harbor Springs, and surrounding community here, which is endless. So I have a podcast called Tales of Northern Michigan's Past, which uh, we can 
go into all the different niche his, areas of history in our area. And, it, and again, I just, it just, it's endless. So I always have new sources for, for new, uh, new stories every week. That is awesome. So we're going to put a link to his podcast as well as his uh, tours in case you'd like to take a tour. He also does ghost tours. Yeah, ghost tours, prohibition history. And then for the Hemingway stuff, uh, you can also find us at um, missionhemingwaysociety.org, which has a walking tour, self-guided for sites that are uh, all around northern Michigan. And then PetoskeyYesterday.com is my tour company. And if anybody wants jewelry, then... Yep. Arlington Jewelers. So. There you go. So anything you need, he's your man. <laughs> yeah, wealth of information. Thank yes. you very Thank much. Thank you so it much, It was an Chris. awesome tour. Great, appreciate it. Yeah. Very much appreciated. Thank and you. And so like next next week I get to go out with a group and we'll be out for eight hours. So I get to wow. talk a lot of history in oh the course of eight gosh, hours. Wow, that but is I know awesome. you know it. That's I can great. fill the time. I can fill the time. <laughs> Thanks. So as Chris was walking around with us with the history tour a while ago, uh, we met his friend Jose. Jose owns this Mexican restaurant and, and Chris told us he stays up late every night making his salsas and everything. Everything is fresh, so we're excited to check it out. So we were originally going to eat lunch at the hotel after the tour, but they only, right now during the week, they're only serving breakfast and dinner. So we couldn't do that. We had met Jose while we were walking around town and we came over to his place and wow, am I glad we did. This was fantastic. This is the real deal, authentic Mexican food here in Petoskey, Michigan. Who knew? He's been here 18 years super nice guy and oh yeah the food was tremendous we're excited today to be checking out petoskey brewery now this place started as a brewery in 1898 and there's some interesting history to the building it was built four stories tall and 20 feet deep because back in the day they had to use gravity to help them do the processes to brew the beer so it's now a brewery again. Let's go check it out. So Petoskey Brewing here First and foremost, shout out Martha to Martha. She was our bartender. She was phenomenal. I mean, she knew her beer probably better than anybody we've ever had before. I mean, awesome. The beer was good. It's not, I wouldn't call it great. It was good beer, but with her as our bartender, I thought it was great. You know, that's, the bartender being as good as she is makes the experience wonderful. And we're gonna try some more beers probably. We're gonna try to get back, we'll see. If we do, we'll try some others. Like I said, they were, they were good. They were definitely good. I wouldn't put them in the great category, but there's some others that they've made in the past she talked about that hopefully they come back with and I can't wait that if we get back to Petoskey, hopefully they'll be making it then. And, and we can try those. But yeah, I'd, I'd give it a thumbs up and ask for Martha. If you get her, you're gonna have a good experience. We are having a ball here in Petoskey, Michigan, and we are so excited to be here at, like Tom said, beautiful Hearthside Grove, for Luxury sure. Water Coach Resort. Uh, we've heard so much about this place from other folks and so we're thrilled to be here and we are so excited to be joined today by founders and developers of Hearthside Grove Motor Coach Resort in Petoskey, Michigan and Hearthside Grove Lake Erie at Geneva on the Lake, Ohio. Brothers Craig Rose and Kirk Rose, thanks guys so much for joining us today. Oh, we're really glad you're here. Thank you. Absolutely. I mean, we have heard just a ton. Of well, yeah, things. and our la our podcast, our last podcast was about our being in the summer and the challenges and stuff. And and I think you guys are the definition 
Uh, oh, this it's beautiful here in the summer. This is the place to be for sure. This is another place that people keep talking about. Kilwin's chocolates. They actually make it here at this location in Petoskey. It is a beautiful day here in Petoskey, Michigan at yeah, Hartside Grove. High of 62 today. Woo -woo! Yeah, but last night it was a low of 42, so it, it, it uh, got a little chilly last night, but very nice, very, very nice. And we're gonna kind of take a tour here of the, uh, of the grounds here at the resort and uh on such a pretty day why not huh? yeah our friend lance is coming to pick us up in his golf cart and he's going to show us around we did a little driving around yesterday to take a look around but i can't wait to hear from him you know what all they're doing here and to really see it yeah just... for sure let's go This is definitely considered the shoulder season here in Upper Michigan. This is, uh, Petoskey is right at kind of the top of, before you get to the UP, this is early May and the trees are just beginning to bud. So in a few weeks here, this place is gonna be popping with color and foliage. That is, that will be beautiful. It's already beautiful even without that, but that will make it better. <laughs> hey, it's the birthday hey. crew! Yeah, hey! I got a little something for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, today, right? Awesome. awesome. Well, thank mine was you. yesterday. <laughs> and Stacy oh, just wants to open it up. Let's this see is Lance. It. Hey! <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Woo! Very good. Let's, Let's see. see. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very awesome. Nice. That's by the fire pit. You can drink your Perfect. morning coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. That's awesome. That's so, right. Coffee, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Lance is going to give us the tour. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, as we go around the resort here, this is the beginning of May. So they're getting the resort ready for the guests that are coming in. So you'll see behind me, they haven't put the the fountain in yet, uh, which I'm sure that's going to happen here real soon because uh, we see, you can see the fountain stuff right over to the side and they have the little marker of the fancy uh, old milk jug <laughs> in the middle to know where to put it, but this place is coming to life. I mean, it, we're here early. We're going to have to come back and get this when it's all put back together, but this was the time we could do it this time and we appreciate Lance letting us come. but. Yeah, when you see things like this behind me, it's just because, hey, they have this stuff put up during the winter and uh, they get it ready in May. So it is what it is. Yep. <laughs> and these folks who own this lot are putting in a hot yoga studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's creative. You gotta love it. So I mentioned earlier in the video that Hearthside Grove is a motor coach resort, and that means that it is designed for Class A motorhomes. Uh, there's also a KOA, 
right up the street, right in the same area. And this is a great location for exploring all of Petoskey, going over to Mackinac Island, and all of the other fun things to do in the area that we will have more future videos on, by the way. But as, you, as we go through the resort here, you're gonna see that there are different personalities throughout this resort. And that's one thing that makes it really interesting. There are different sections that have different types of structures on them. Some of them are very creative in what they've done and they are continuing to develop. This is their new section that they're putting in right now. It wasn't quite open when we were there. Uh, it's opening summer of 2023. And uh, this is going to be rental and you can buy here in this section if you're interested in that. What we really enjoyed about this are the super nice people, beautiful surroundings, great location. Now this is their main clubhouse and it's important to note that things have changed here recently and now we want to make sure everybody knows that if you are staying at Hearthside Grove, whether an owner or a renter, you have full access to all of the facilities and all of the amenities. That's something that's fairly new for them. Um, but it is a beautiful facility and it is open to everyone who's staying there, owners and guests alike. Okay, you want to see incredibly unique? Well, this is it right here. Jim Hummel, this is his place. We just met him, <laughs> awesome guy. He built this whole thing himself. Look at this originality here. He's got a basement where he keeps his golf cart and bikes and stuff during the off season. Look at that. That is awesome. The originality around here is, is incredible. We're just seeing it everywhere and yeah, I've never seen anything like that. That's really cool. <laughs> I tell you what, Petoskey, Michigan reminds me a lot of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, because everywhere we go, we're finding really good food. <laughs> Tonight, we grabbed a burger at Duffy's here, and this is in a building that used to be a saloon. It was built in, I think it said 1904, Super cool place inside, recommended by some of the folks who own lots uh, in uh, Hearthside Grove. Uh, thanks, Jim. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Yet another great meal. So we're just wandering around the streets of Petoskey this evening and we came across the Glass Lakes Photography Studio and we were just sitting here admiring the artwork in the windows and it's a little late in the evening and the owner saw us and he came over, his name is Joe and he is the artist and he came and he was so nice to let us in and spend time with us and show him show us some of his art and I wish we had room on our walls. <laughs> if you are ever in Petoskey you need to come over here downtown and check out his place because this is just awesome. He's got photos that he has taken all over the place. Obviously a lot in this area, uh, but other areas as well, including like down near Mobile, Alabama. So just beautiful work, night sky and landscapes and awesome. So thank you, Joe, for spending time with us. And uh, yeah, make sure you check him out when you're here in Petoskey.
So one of the things that everyone has told us we need to do when we're in Petoskey is search for Petoskey stones. This is what one looks like. Our friend Kirk gave this to me so we'd know what to look for. But basically, hundreds of millions of years ago, this area was located actually near the equator and it was a much warmer environment. It was covered by a sea and there was coral living in the sea. Fast forward a few million years and the, the earth shifts and the tectonic plates move and this area becomes covered by glaciers. And now, as the water on the lake melts, it pushes up this fossilized coral, which has come to be known as Petoskey Stones. And you can find it all along the shorelines of West Traverse Bay, or Little Traverse Bay, and uh, especially here in Petoskey because of the way that the, uh, the lake is, is uh, the bay comes in here <laughs> it tends to collect a lot they say spring is a great time to look for them because uh, not a lot of folks have been down here looking yet so we're going to see if we can find some more of these petoskey stones success look at that oh wow how cool is that and you found it right down here you found it right down here they say sometimes in the water or if you pick one up and get it damp you can it it's easier to spot a petoskey stone because it's easier to see the markings very cool very cool find one i got one look and it's pretty pretty big but you can see all these little round spots wow. in it that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's really cool. And you can see all the stuff in it. Neat. A lot of spots. Good find. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay, we got our Petoskey stones and we're gonna wrap this one up right here, but I hope you really enjoyed this. Uh, video on Petoskey. What an amazing place. You're going to want to tune in next week because next week we have a bucket list birthday. Yeah, it's Stacy's birthday and we go to Mackinac Island. So yeah, you're going to want to catch that one next week. So until then, safe travels and happy camping. Bye. <laughs>